Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Siti Mariam Idris, the moderator for this session. I'd like to welcome you all to this presentation. In this occasion, we will have a presentation from our speaker, Mr. Ardi Gunso, entitled Dream Job, Craft Your Idea Career Roadmap. Ladies and gentlemen, we will have a short Q&A session at the end of our session. For those who have a question regarding the presentation, you can leave a comment. Inshallah, we will deliver the question to the speaker after the presentation. Before the presentation begins, allow me to briefly introduce our speaker for today. Mr. Ardi Gunso currently works as Sector Relationship Manager for CCI, which stands for Communication, Content and Instruction. Infrastructure, Oil and Gas Energy Education Cluster, as well as Sabah and Sarawak region. He is interested to perform engagement activities as well as relationship building to, to the targeted industry players in order to understand and facilitate their talents need. Besides promoting talent corps advocacy, as well as creating awareness on program or initiative that will help the industry in solving possible challenges that they are facing in terms of talents. Without further ado, I would like to welcome Mr. Ardi Gunso to deliver his speech. The floor is yours, Mr. Ardi. Thank you, Ms. Mariam. Assalamualaikum and a very good uh, morning to everyone. First of all, I would like to, to express my uh, gratitude. Thank you to my REF uh, and READY organizer for inviting me today <clears throat> to share uh, sort of, I mean, uh, based on the topic, dream job, of how to craft your, your career roadmap and all that. So uh, again, my name is Ardi Gunso and I'm from Talent Corp. Uh, I've been working with this organization since 2013. Uh, I've been uh, doing a lot of things related to uh, excellent engagement, uh, dealing with industries, universities, and currently I'm very much uh, involved in campus engagement, uh, as well as uh, we have a program, what we call a structured internship program, which is basically we are promoting to a lot of uh, industries, companies, as well as the universities, mainly to uh, to cater talent issues in Malaysia. So I am with the Graduate and Emerging Talent Department currently, and then um, I'm I'm very I mean I feel I think that I'm I'm so lucky to have the opportunity to basically engage with um, a lot of students uh, nationwide. Uh, ranging from uh, first year up to the final year students. So uh, I will say that it's, it's my passion to basically uh, doing this kind of engagement. So I'm going to have my presentations up. So I have a slide to share. Uh, can I, uh, Ms. Maria? Yes, please, Mr. Ardi. Sure. Uh, let me just... So um, I'm basically having two topics to cover, and I hope I can <laughs> finish it in one hour. So yeah. All right, dream job, craft your idea career roadmap uh, for research and education inside 2021, ready 2021. So before I go to the main topic, allow me to share a bit about what we do in a graduate and emerging talent department. So uh, in brief, Talent Corp Malaysia is basically a government agency. We were established in 1st January of 2011, uh, mandated to basically cater talent issues in Malaysia, bridging the gap and all that. So specifically in graduate and emerging talent, we have uh, several initiatives. And then if you can see here, we have three uh, uh, entities that we, 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 are, we are working closely with. And then currently, um, previously, Talent Corp Malaysia was parked under the Prime Minister's Department. But uh, now, we are now uh, under Ministry of Human Resources. And then, uh, these are our main entities that we'll be working closely with. We also have Ministry of Higher Education. Um, we also work closely with Ministry of Youth and Sport. Everything is about um, developing talent, uh, bridging the gap, uh, catering talent issues. And we have several uh, supporting instruments that we have under this department that we think can help uh, and we take it as solution focused intervention to support graduate employability agenda in Malaysia. So I will, I will be running through this uh, briefly about uh, what, what, what the program is all about. Uh, the first one, we call it NEXT. NEXT stands for uh, Nurturing Expert Talent. It is basically an online self-awareness and profiling tool 
that we use to do uh, talent mapping, uh, including data analytics. It can also be one of our initiatives that we bring into campus as in-campus proactive intervention. And then it is also used as a talent empowerment uh, tools. Uh, so what you can do in next is that for you as a student or graduate or maybe professional, if you want to understand more about uh, your career interests, your, your career inclination, you can actually take this assessment, take this assessment, and from there there will be a report produced, and you will be you will be able to understand more about um, what can you do about your career moving forward. So that's all about uh, next. The next one we have uh, SIP, Structured Internship Program. It is a program that we 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 is designed basically to 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 provide opportunity for students to undergo uh, a structured internship uh, training or program with our endorsed SIP companies. For companies, it basically comes together with double tax deduction incentive. And then it also focusing on, on the job exposure work skills before graduation. And then this program provides students who are, who are going through the internship program with a of 500 ringgit and then there will be also an opportunity for you to go through like learning and development throughout the, the, the internship program. So uh, these two, Next and SIP, will be integrated soon in one platform. So what we are looking at is that <clears throat> we want to create a, pl uh, a platform where students can get the opportunity to, opportunity to apply for internship uh, program directly from companies while companies will be able to to get the, the opportunity to also hire directly from that platform. So Next and SIP are basically uh, in the process of integrated together, but the platform is yet to be, to be available. So if you are looking for like the information about Next and SIP, you can just go to our website or you can also just type uh, on the Google browser of Next and SIP, you will find the information about it. The third one, we have My Mobility. My Mobility is basically a global exposure um, uh, global exposure, global citizens. That's that's the focus, which is uh, also looking into cultural intelligence exposure and talent mobility, and then facilitation incentive. It comes with um, written flight ticket and visa processing. Where what we have here is that we have a program what we call internship, where this is a program where students or maybe whomever that studying Malaysian who are studying in Malaysia. Uh, can get the opportunity to do internship outside Malaysia within the ASEAN countries. And we facilitate you in terms of, for example, let's say you are looking for, for, for opportunity to work in uh, Singapore, for example, or maybe Thailand, uh, in, in any of the Malaysian companies. Um, what we can provide to you is that we, we, we cover your flight ticket. Uh, else we also cover your, your visa processing. So that is... The, the, the one of the initiatives that we do for, for, for international exposure. Somehow, because of pandemic situations currently, we don't really promote this actively, but the program is still there. So maybe perhaps after the COVID ends, uh, we will go again about it. The, next, the, third, the fourth one is um, STAR. STAR stands for Scholarship Talent Attraction and Retention uh, Program. It is primarily aimed to harness JPS-sponsored scholars to serve their bond in the country and ensure uh, national ROI. So we, are, we, we would like to bridge um, cream de la cream, I tell them we start rich employers. Be because nowadays, uh, currently, um, JPS scholars, whomever who are JPS scholars here, if you, may, if you are not aware of this, um, I'm, I'm telling you this now, uh, we have an initiative where we assist JPS scholars to basically secure employment, uh, allowing you to, to serve your bond with the government by working with any private organizations. The reason why is that um, the government is not able to take everyone in due to uh, limited placement. So what we do is that we work closely with JPA um, to basically organize, um, e uh, organize activities and uh, events or I mean programs that we can do to basically help our students or our JPS scholars to to get connected with the industry. So we do have a lot of uh, networking sessions, um, interview sessions, so even employers who are interested to be part of this, they can also uh, register in our portal and look for talents from the uh, platform. So that's about STAR. The 
The fifth one, we call it uh, YES. YES stands for Young Employable Students. It is basically a GE capacity building and employability essential skills powered by strategic collaborators. Strategic collaborators means Talentcorp together with our external um, uh, partners or training providers, module providers. We work closely with them to basically um, help or assist universities to further nurturing their talent. So because we... We, we, we have this um, vision of providing a good talent empowerment initiative where we come to campus, provide our students with um, preparation for themselves to be, to be what we call it, to be ready graduates. So we have a lot of uh, basically engagement with uh, our local universities, um, working closely with also industries together, um, helping, I mean, helping to, to, to bridge as well as to provide opportunity for students to understand um, about the in, uh, industry insight and then get opportunity maybe to be hired. So under YES program, we have like a strategic collaborators and content provider. If you can see down here, there are Kennedy, GTI Media, Teach for Malaysia, Change Dynamics, Career Cube, Solution Focused Academy. I'm working with universities, like for example, uh, last time we had one with um, UMS, we organize a three-day session where we bring in our collaborators to teach, to talk about, uh, for, for example, CV review, interview tips and all that. So we also bring in companies to interview. Uh, we have two, two activities happen for next, in campus and outside campus. So outside campus is that where we go to one place, bring in the talent as well as companies together to get connected. And then there will be an like interview session happening during that uh, three days event. So this is about yes. Um, the next one is IAC. IAC stands for Industry Academic Collaboration. It facilitates industry academic collaboration for talent capacity building. Uh, we are looking into a curriculum and cost review, and then uh, partnership, internship, and etc. So it's all about bridging talent supply and talent demand. So we work closely with universities and industry on this one. For example, last time we have one session with UITM where we uh, have like Ten companies to basically helping UITM to review their courses, uh, the their new courses. So this is among the initiatives that we do closely with uh, industry, uh, uh, industry, and as well as the universities. So during the COVID pandemic last year in 2020, when it started, we created Kisa Siswa. Kisa Siswa is basically a create uh, an initiative where we work with MOHR and MOHE. Uh, as a proactive intervention to understudy talent situation and optimum for the job market. So we do get data gathering and analytics. We also provide a platform where students can get the opportunity to get career coaching, career coaching assistance for talent to chart ideal career roadmap. For this one, um, we managed to basically connect more than 100 volunteer coaches from a various background. Um, IPTA, industries, professionals, certificate career coach, uh, and then uh, we also like managed to basically gather like more than 1,000 students uh, to register under this program and then be helped, I mean, get, get assistance from our career coach to understand more about um, the career roadmap, how can they move, move forward and all that. So, sorry, I got some network issue here. All right, so that's about um, COVID, uh, this is what that we do during COVID. So we have a Telegram platform for this, uh, where you can, you as a student, maybe graduates or profession, you want to subscribe to this. We have like the thing, um, opportunity for you to get uh, employment opportunities, for example, and then a lot of actually industry insight that we share there. So if I can share you a QR code for you to basically um, scan and then um, subscribe to our uh, Telegram channel.
two minutes. All right. Okay. So let's move to the to the uh, the content of today. Context setting: a graduate employability uh, scenario in Malaysia. So allow me to share this um, because I say nak cuba nak 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 bawa anda untuk berfikir. Like I want you to think that in Malaysia every year. More than 290,000 students graduate annually. And then one in, I mean, but one in five fresh graduates remain unemployed six months after graduation. That's one, one of the scene, one of the fact. And then among fresh graduates with tertiary education, 25% of degree holders are unemployed. <laughs> but like what 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 I've listened from the previous uh, session, they said don't be don't worry about jobs, don't worry much about jobs. This is, and then for me, this is just a fact, it's just statistic. Then basically, maybe we don't have control on it, but we can do something about it, especially for ourselves. So um, I move I move to the next um, fact. Um, top three, I mean, the number three is top reason for fresh graduate unemployment. This is based on Kazana Research Institute School to Work Transition Survey in 2018. There are five. Skill mismatch, low take up for STEM, low participation in TVEP, job search and recruitment mismatch, lack of interpersonal skills. And the fourth one, what are the top five most important skills for employer, employers globally? And I've also listened to the previous topic. They also mentioned uh, one of the 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 skills, which is adaptability, but the first one is problem solving, teamwork, communication, uh, the fourth one, adaptability and interpersonal skills. So these are the five things. So if you can see the situation, how can you basically put yourself in that situation and then do something about it? Like let's say if you are in the category of the unemployed for six months, right? So basically we understand that there are competition, ada persaingan di antara uh, graduan, Sesama graduan, because of this uh, situation where other jobs, tapi there are a lot of people actually looking into it and get going to get get it. So, di situ berlakunya um, per uh, persaingan. So why? Bila ada persaingan, kita akan lihatlah uh, ada yang berjaya, ada yang tak dan sebagainya. So basically, this fact is that we understand ada jobs kat luar, tapi um, mungkin kita tak ada yang Maybe because of they are lacking of certain skills, or maybe orang kata bukan rezeki lah, right? But this is this this is the situation that we can say about um, our graduate employability scene in Malaysia. So bila ni berlaku, what can what can what can we do about it? That's the question. And then the, the scenario two, talent demand and the supply gap in Malaysia Malaysia's graduate ecosystem. The problem solving is that kita lihat daripada sudut labour market issues. Berlakunya unemployment, wage structure, skill requirement, kemudian ada pula talent mismatch and kita cakap sikit pasal female, female level force, circulation. Brand circulation bila bukan kita punya talent keluar negara dan sebagainya. So kita ada dua item kat sini, talent supply and talent demand. We have universities, we have industry, right? Two things that we are supposed to uh, bridge together. Tapi there are talent mismatch, lack of industry exposure, um, soft skill for employment mungkin kurang dan sebagainya. So bila ada skill mismatch akan berlaku lah uh, orang kata unemployment. Um, bila berlakunya lack of industry academic collaboration and coordination ataupun mungkin kurangnya pendedahan terhadap pelajar, ini yang berlakunya uh, unemployment rate among our, our fresh graduate. Tapi of course lah, uh, the economy situation juga mempengaruhi our 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 employment punya situation kan so mungkin during covid pun ramai uh, kalau kita lihat daripada um, kalau saya boleh share sikit statistik um, Malaysia punya labor force um, labor force participation ataupun LFPR um, from 2018 quarter 1 uh, basically it increase ya yeah? it dia bertambah however um, ada drop there was a drop from quarter 4 2019 daripada 69.1% kepada 68.8% 2019. 
in quarter one 2020. Quarter one 2020 is where the, the COVID-19 dah bermula. And then we have our MCO. So the the the, the rate even bertambah lagi. Like unemployment uh, rate increased by 0.3 to 3.5 in quarter one 2020. So that was the situation. And then we are basically facing the new norm today. Macam yang speakers awal tadi cakap, um, it's just about uh, how we adapt to the current situation, right? So this is what this this is the thing that I want you to understand. This is a scenario. Ada university mengeluarkan gra, uh, graduan, tapi ada pengangguran. Dan dan uh, ada pula masalah pandemik dan sebagainya. Talent mismatch lagi berlaku dan sebagainya. Ada industri yang tidak bergerak, yang hampir lumpuh dan sebagainya. So itu semua menyumbang. But uh, kita mungkin tidak mampu untuk mengawal semua yang berlaku. Tapi what we can do for ourselves, right? So, start asking yourself, who are you? Kalau awak seorang pelajar di tahun 1 ataupun tahun 2, tahun 3, tahun 4 ataupun awak seorang fresh graduate, it's it's start, it, you you can start to to ask yourself, what who are you? Are you a, maybe are you a cat or a lion? How you describe yourself? Right, and then manusia menjaga dirinya dan mengatur peri kehidupannya. Jangan meniru orang lain sebelum dipikirkan apakah yang diniru itu cocok dengan dirinya. Yang lebih utama menurut akal ialah mengukur bayang-bayang diri, mengenal siapa diri dan berusaha memperbaiki mana yang telah rosak. Ini daripada uh, Buya Hamka fasa fasa hidup semula seperti itu yang selalu saya share kepada students uh, dan juga graduan. <coughs> Jadi we is actually kita we are human being that with with akal where we can think and then look for the good i mean apa yang kita boleh buat about our future we can we don't have control of the future tapi we can do or we can plan uh, about it right so bila kita cakap pasal career macam saya saya sendiri saya dulu belajar finance tapi hari ini saya buat kerja yang macam ini like involving talent development and sebagainya so uh to quote again from the previous topic, one of the speakers said, "Kira lah uh, tak kisah apa stud, uh, apa degree ataupun program yang awak belajar di universiti, don't worry about what are you going to be in the future because semuanya bergantung kepada apa yang kita nak. What do you want? So in Talent Corp, we have basically designed this uh, career roadmap, right? Uh, what are the elements that you may need to basically craft your ideal career? First thing." Kita bermula dari sini. Kalau awak seorang pelajar, if you are a student yang baru masuk uh, university first year, when you start, you need to look into how can you do, what can you do to basically prepare yourself better for the industry. Because you want to be an industry ready graduate, right? So what are the elements that needed? Kalau awak baru, baru habis belajar, if you are a fresh graduate, you can also start from here. When you keluar, maybe you don't know anything yet. So how can you start? So first thing first, you need to have a, a, a clear self-awareness. Kesedaran diri itu sangat-sangat penting. Tak kira lah di mana anda berada sekarang. Kesedaran diri is very important. For example, uh, if there are things that maybe before this you tak tahu, but you need to know about it. So what you can do? That's why uh, in Talent Corp, we provide a platform where we call Next. Next, a profiling tools where you can help yourself to understand yourself better, right? So, bila kita dah ada kefahaman tentang diri kita, dibantu dengan tools-tools yang disediakan oleh whomever yang menyediakan macam Talongot, for example, kita ada next profiling tools. So, from here, you start to basically, kalau fresh graduate, kita, dia keluar je, okay, you need to have a career mindset. And then, kena ada smart career goals. What do you want to be? Macam mana nak pergi ke arah itu? And then kekuatan awak macam mana? How can you improve whatever skills ataupun uh, competencies that you maybe sebelumnya ada tapi kurang and you want to improve it, right? So self-awareness is very important because from here, we will know where to start. So I will suggest you to take next, tak kira lah students ataupun final year students ataupun fresh graduates, you try take uh, ambil next for you to understand further about your career interest your strength, your, your, your psychology punya uh, kecenderungan dan sebagainya. But you can actually try any other methods 
But yang penting, the first thing first that you need to have is self-awareness. Macam saya, masa belajar dulu, when I studied, when I graduated, I was I was like, saya tak tahu nak pergi mana. I don't know what to do. Because saya tidak pernah didedahkan dengan aktiviti-aktiviti sebegini. Because people, uh, students nowadays are very lucky because everybody from the industry wants to come to you and to engage you. But not during my time. During my time, kita kena usaha sendiri. Bila habis belajar je, oh, terkapai-kapai nak tak tahu nak pergi mana, right? But nowadays, almost every company actually wants to engage with universities, want to engage with students. So you are so lucky and you have all the platform that you need. So create that self-awareness within yourself. Kemudian, market, market aware. Yang kedua, market awareness. So what market awareness? is basically for you to understand about the industry, the, the external situation. If you are in the university, kalau masih belajar, even masih first year or second year or third year, it's very important for you to also understand what's, what is happening outside your campus. Ambil tahu, make yourself uh, up to date, alert dengan situasi-situasi semasa. Ini juga telah disentuh oleh speakers yang sebel, uh, dalam topik sebelumnya. So market awareness is about um, the industry yang kita nak, yang berminat nak pergi uh, macam one of, I remember uh, Mr. Jeffrey said, uh, create your network, right? So network, networking, information interviews, datang hadirlah event-event macam ni. So when ready is organized today, it's basically trying to educate uh, the people about certain uh, things yang related to uh, industry, education dan sebagainya. Right? So ambil uh, bahagian, berdaftar dan join. So what you are doing today by registering in ready is basically a very good uh, step. Sangat langkah yang sangat bagus because you are exposing yourself towards your self-awareness as well as understanding about the market. Right? Kalau dalam talent corp, kalau di talent corp, kita ada aktiviti macam summer break program, kita ada macam uh, webinars and all that. Semuanya dibuat uh, demi memberikan pendedahan kepada para pelajar dan graduan tentang kepentingan memiliki kesedaran diri dan juga memahami tentang industri situasi semasa. Uh. Yang ketiga, The third one is personal branding. Bila cakap personal branding, it's not about <coughs> uh, bagaimana kita punya penampilan diri dan sebagainya. It's, it's about how you position, position yourself uh, di dalam sesuatu situasi. For example, if you are a student, if you are a student belajar di university, how you think about branding yourself among your lecturers, among your fellow students dan sebagainya. For example, melibatkan diri di dalam aktiviti-aktiviti ke kurikulum adalah juga salah satu cara untuk anda meningkatkan uh, your branding, right? And then, kita cakap pula pasal cover letter, resume, uh, online presence. Bila cakap pasal online presence, kita ada link in, right? Kita ada link in di mana semua itu. The professional people ada kat situ. And I also remember to quote again um, the previous uh, session, The speaker also mentioned that it's go uh, create, uh, bridge yourself to the people-people, orang-orang yang professional ni. So, kalau dekat LinkedIn, you can connect it with whomever. Mulakan sesi ni, saya dah dapat connection daripada salah seorang peserta yang akan hadir dalam sesi hari ini to get connected to me. So, it's a very good initiative that you do that because you are creating your online presence. So, when you create your online presence, creating your LinkedIn account, it's basically an opportunity for yourself to open up, uh, to get connected with people, industry, and at the same time, to open opportunity for yourself to get the career that you want. Because di LinkedIn juga banyak job positions uh, yang diiklankan. Dan bila awak connect dengan orang-orang profesional dalam tu, it's basically also can open or lead another bigger opportunity for you in future. Not now, maybe, maybe in future. So if you're looking for internship placement or maybe a job offer or job opportunities. So from there, from here, bila awak post something yang bagus in LinkedIn, or maybe you go to some uh, influ influencer in LinkedIn to comment on their post. Uh, basically from there, people will look at you, people will see you, right? So because I've seen people, students from my previous engagement get job melalui online presence yang mereka lakukan di dalam LinkedIn dan tempat-tempat yang uh, dia boleh nampak banyak orang profesional berada.
And it's also important for you to improve your resume and then learn about how to write a cover letter. So, self-awareness, market awareness, personal branding. Yang ketiga, yang keempat, experience. Right, experience. Experience juga sangat diperlukan kalau walaupun awak masih belajar ataupun awak masih fresh graduate, it's basically to also understand right, belajar di university is just not about uh, making yourself excellence in academic uh, qualification, right? Bukan saja hanya, hanya untuk mendapatkan grade yang bagus dan sebagainya, tapi kena juga dapat experience. So, kalau awak seorang student, if you are a student, you are still studying, bila ada opportunity for you to do um, part time job for example during your 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 your, your semester break pergi kalau nak pergi internship cari tempat yang bagus contoh macam structured internship program you can go to our website look for company yang kita endorse because this kind of companies are providing you with uh, a very structured punya structured internship uh, uh, training program so from here you can be an industry ready graduate so bila awak ada semua benda ni you have your self awareness you have your market awareness you basically crafted your personal branding really well and then gather ataupun dapatkan pengalaman daripada pekerjaan-pekerjaan yang awak buat uh, melibatkan diri dengan pelbagai aktiviti di kampus ataupun di luar kampus dan sebagainya you can be a good uh, talent for the for the industry so from here you will be a young employable student ataupun young employable graduates Uh, so you can basically take this to understand how you can map your career because you are going to be a uh, this will be your journey for your uh, perjalanan anda untuk menjadi seorang yang akan berguna kepada industri. I harap jelas. Jadi uh, graduate insight. <coughs> Kalau kita lihat sini, circle of CIC. Um, Control, influence, um, concern. Dalam kehidupan kita ni, there are things yang kita sangat concern tapi kita tak boleh buat apa-apa tentang perkara itu, right? Tapi ada juga perkara yang kita boleh influence and ada perkara yang kita boleh control. Dalam situasi semasa sekarang, in our current situation where the pandemic is there, the COVID is there, it's our concern, right? Political issues is our concern. Economic issue is our concern. Tapi, do we have control on it? Tak ada. Kita hanya mampu untuk membimbanginya. But we can we influence. Adakah kita mampu memberikan influence kepada perkara-perkara yang besar? Ataupun adakah kita mampu control? There are situations where we concern tapi we don't have influence. Ada juga perkara di mana ada perkara yang sangat berkaitan dengan diri kita where we control, we can control. So what I'm saying here is that focus on what you can control and don't waste energy on the things that you cannot. So from here you you understand know your priority bila dah ada tahu tentang priority anda you can basically start akan ada vision ataupun pandangan yang lebih jauh untuk mendapatkan apa yang anda inginkan di dalam kerjaya anda. Okay, so berbalik kepada this career roadmap. So awareness again saya ulang so awareness important market awareness personal branding experience when you combine these four together you will have Uh, easiest way for you, not not to say easiest lah, but uh, at least you can see from bigger picture how you can go on to achieve your career. So please also again understand that apa yang anda belajar di universiti hari ini tidak tidak menentukan anda akan berada di mana di masa akan depan. Semuanya bergantung kepada usaha dan minat anda. Alright. So, again, competitive age. Hello. So, understand what is your competitive age, right? Ini soalan yang seterusnya yang I want you to understand. Uh, competitive age is referring to um, a factor yang menentukan uh, seseorang itu berbeza. How, what what makes you different from others? Kalau kita lihat dari, dari segi company, syarikat, uh, from one company to one company, apa yang membezakan mereka adalah the competitive edge of them. So, uh, for example, this one brand can produce product yang with low cost tapi berkualiti. So, that that could be the competitive edge. 
So when we look at you as a student or as a graduate or maybe as a working professional, what makes you different from other students? Macam kita lihat berbalik kepada 200 lebih, 90 ribu lebih uh, graduan yang dikeluarkan oleh universiti setiap tahun di Malaysia. There are com- uh, competition, right? There are competition. And what can you do? What can you can can make you different from one graduates to another? So again, important for you to also position yourself dalam situasi begini. So this is very important for you to understand. Cari apa apa strength, uh, what what is your competitiveness, what is your competitive advantage, dan kalau dah tahu how you, how can you uh, strengthen it? Macam how can you use it? So if you don't see this again, macam saya cakap tadi, you can go to next, ambil profiling tools tu, jawab soalan. They are like ada beberapa section there that you can answer and you will understand about uh, your strength and all that. So, ini is very important. Kemudian, what are the technical competencies that you you have or don't have? Uh, for example, uh, technical competencies are the skills that uh, ataupun the ability needed to perform specific tasks, uh, practical and often uh, related to macam Perkara-perkara seperti, if I can give an example, uh, IT related, mechanical related, manufacturer related, scientific task related, semuanya yang memerlukan um, specific uh, certification, for example. For example, if you want to be a, a programmer, what are the skills that do you need? Uh, maybe you need like programming courses. Uh, you want to be a data scientist. You you maybe want to to have um, data scientist punya courses. Those kind of things. So, ini adalah semua technical skills yang boleh dipelajari melalui uh, menghadiri kelas dan sebagainya. So, let's say if you want, kalau kita lihat traditional punya uh, jenis-jenis pekerjaan macam accountant. Kalau nak jadi accountant, what do you need? SCCA? Kalau nak jadi arkitek, kena ada CAD? Apa lagi? So, you name it. A lot of things that related to the competencies. So, if today you you look something that you are interested in, But you don't have technical skills about it. What well, you can do about it? Maybe you need to attend extra classes ataupun short courses. You name it. Whatever that you think yang ada dalam fikiran anda untuk mendapatkan skills, right? What you can do to help yourself better. So lakukan buat je semua. So from here, basically, bila dah awak cuba melihat pada perkara ini tentang sesuatu yang memberikan kebaikan for yourself. Basically, secara tidak langsung. Uh, the quality of you as a student as and as a uh, as a graduate ataupun working profession akan meningkat right akan meningkat but we don't know maybe uh, during this uh, IR 4.0 di mana new norm juga uh, dah berlaku dan sebagainya digitalization taking place um, semua yang berkaitan dengan uh, IT yang berkaitan dengan digital dan sebagainya yang yang kita banyak jenis pekerjaan yang juga akan dissolve ada benda baru yang keluar How can you adapt? Jadi, apa yang perlu anda pelajari? Understand about this current situation and try to look at what are the things that you can learn to improve yourself better. The next one, what are the soft skills that you have or maybe you don't have? Soft skill tu apa? Itu kena faham jugalah. Soft skill ni adalah something yang berkaitan tentang um, how we work. It's relate, it, it, it relates to how you work. Um, For example, if I can mention, uh, I can say, uh, give some example, seperti interpersonal skills, communication skills. I've mentioned this in my uh, earlier uh, earlier slides. Listening skills, um, time management, empathy. How do you work with others? Your working styles dan sebagainya. Itu semua berkaitan dengan soft skill. If you want to improve something, for example, you want to improve your communication skill. What you, what you can do about it? Uh, and then these skills are basically transferable, yeah. Uh, so do you maybe you, you need to ask this? Do I do am I someone who can adapt very easy, ataupun can adapt very well? Uh, do I have this communication skill that needed uh, for this particular industry, for example? Um, do you have this creative thinking? How about your dependability? And then your work ethic, uh, your teamwork. Uh, and then your 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 time management, your motivation, your problem solving, your critical thinking, those kind of things. Semua ini adalah perkara-perkara yang akan membantu anda di dalam satu when you are looking for a job, 
as well as during the job. So, bila pergi interview, for example, when you go for an interview, bila ditanya, uh, the interviewers usually will look at your communication skill, how 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 good you are, and when you when you speak, when you communicate. Bila ditanya tentang, uh, okay, tell me about yourself. How you how good you are when you're telling them about yourself. So it's all about soft skill. So if today you don't have this, try to look at it because if you manage to improve this part, it will be very easy for you to get a job, inshallah. And who do you know in your industry and who knows you? So ini berkaitan dengan personal branding yang kita cakap di awal-awal tadi. Personal branding is where you connect with people, uh, network people, because uh, I give you a situation where, let's say you are very active in LinkedIn, right? You connect to so many people. These people that you are connected with, maybe someday they can help you to maybe introduce you or to recommend you to someone in the industry that you want to go into. So if you are a student in the university, let's say uh, your university organized an event like this, a session like this, webinar, uh, networking sessions, go for it. Just go for it because you are basically building something for yourself. Right? Building something for yourself. Jadi, bila dah berada kat situ, situasi begitu, you are basically uh, opening up more opportunities for yourself. So, it's also important to know the industry and to also know the people that who knows you. The next one, who do you know in your industry knows about you, about your capability. Like again, it's goes back to your market awareness, goes back to your personal branding, as well as your experience. Because when you go for internship, for example, this is also where, uh, this is also a place where you can uh, connect with people who can help you in the future, like recommending you and all that. So if, if they know that you are good, you are good. So again, another opportunity for you to open up for yourself. So ask yourself, who do you know in your industry and who, whether or not they know about your capability. So dari situlah akan berlakunya industri bertemu dengan graduates. So kita, anda akan mampu untuk bridge your own gap from your current situations to the industry punya uh, platform. The next one, what competitive age that is highly appreciated or most sought after in your industry? Hmm, kena tanya lagi tentang ini juga. Kalau setengah industri itu memerlukan setengah atau specific skills, so how can you go about it? How can you, what can you do about it, right? And then, what are the technical competencies required most by your industry? So let's say you are looking into aviation, like apa yang speakers awal-awal tadi dah cakap. I believe they have also mentioned the technical skills that they that needed. Tapi at the same time, technical competencies can be required, can be acquired, right? You can learn about it. You can attend courses about it. Uh, tapi, how you can get into it. So, understanding the industry inside better will help you um, further to basically open up the opportunity for yourself. The next one, what are the soft skills required most by your industry? Berkaitan dengan soft skills juga. So, if you have certain skills that you want to achieve, maybe uh, try uh, to understand ataupun pelajari lebih tentang specific, the specific skills that you need. Okay. Seterusnya, who are the key players in your industry? So, let's say you already identify industry that you want to go in. Who are the industry, uh, the key players? Macam mana nak cari? That's why market awareness is very important, right? So, see, can you see the, the, the connection? Market awareness, again, mengetahui tentang situasi industri, banyak membaca, uh, Look for, for example, if you want to know about specific company, where you can go to find the information. So, seperti yang di, dikatakan juga dalam previous session, everything is in your fingertips. Tak Google semua banyak, petik je, dah dapat. Betul, betul kan? <coughs> so, again, where are the key players located? You kena tahu juga kat mana this company ataupun this industry uh, Tempat dia kat mana, location, location, location dia kat mana. So, bila kita tahu semua ni, it must, uh, will be much more easier for us to understand macam mana nak pergi, macam apa nak buat, to plan better. Seterusnya, who are the key people in your industry and who can connect you to them? Again, berkaitan dengan personal branding, market awareness dan juga experience. 
Sebab bila kita dah connect dengan orang yang sepatutnya, again recommendation can comes to you, you know, they can help you to connect with certain industry, certain companies. Kita bukan cakap pasal cable, eh? bukan cakap pasal cable, kita cakap pasal professional connection. Alright? So, also important. Selalu dalam build again build your personal branding make your online presence uh, visible in LinkedIn for example post benda-benda yang baik connect dengan orang-orang yang boleh bantu anda untuk dapatkan peluang pekerjaan how much is the average starting salary for fresh graduate in your industry yang ini pun boleh dicari you can go to Glassdoor untuk dapatkan uh, employee punya experience daripada setengah syarikat ataupun company punya Because kat situ ada review from, you know, many people about how much of this specific company pay this, they, they talent dan sebagainya. Or maybe you can go to Job Jobstreet punya website. Diorang sediakan juga salary guide kat situ. It's downloadable. So when you know this, basically, it can help you better. So, berbalik kepada perkara yang saya dah, dah terangkan. Self-awareness, market awareness personal branding dan juga experience. Kalau empat-empat elemen ini anda kuasai dengan baik, insya-Allah you definitely will be a industry ready graduate. Kalau awak dah graduate pun you can always adjust, you can always adjust. So again don't worry about jobs, don't worry about the new norm whatever whatsoever. Yang penting apa yang kita lakukan, apa yang kita buat untuk diri kita untuk mendapatkan apa yang kita nak. So, saya ada lagi 10 minit. Um, okay. So, saya nak cakap sikit pasal next. Next, connect education to employability. Kenapa kita buat next? Uh, sebab kita nak bantu. We want to help your students or graduates or working professionals to understand more about yourself and then because we know finding a job after graduation is not easy. So, we help uh, graduates find a career uh, path that matches with uh, your values, your interests and your preference. So, ini yang kita buat next. Bila anda ambil next, uh, from here you can basically understand about yourself better. So, it also assist you to understand yourself and give you, uh, create you self-awareness uh, and then tentukan your, 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 punya, uh, your own strength and your potential uh, to start your charting out your career path, right? So, kenapa? Why do you, why do graduates or maybe students need to have self-awareness? Macam saya kata tadi, it's very important because you will be able to enhance, highlight and leverage on strength and capabilities. Semualah berkaitan dengan skill set. Apa yang ada dekat next, semuanya tentang yourself, about me, catalyst profiling, career, career exploration, employability factor. Uh, yang kelima, there will also be a test on English proficiency, um, basic IT skills, ada juga CV, Uh, and then opportunity for you to find internship. Uh, so what you see here is that uh, the features that we have in next uh, and then all the things that I can, kalau awak dah ambil, dah, dah jawab soalan semua, you will see what are your strengths, what are your motivational factors, what are your possible challenges, what will be likely yang akan demotivate you. So benda-benda ni akan membantu anda untuk lebih memahami about yourself because it will Uh, consists of interests, preferences and values yang kita design untuk work together to build a detailed and multi-layered pictures of you as a person. So, dia akan fokus kepada positive psychology, your strong points and the possibilities that maybe awaits you. And then, uh, we help you from next to explore your future career. Uh, so, there are set of questions that you need to ask and then they can propose what would be the career that you may be interested, I mean, may be suitable for you. The next one is understanding your employability skills. So, dia akan ada report lah. Dia akan ada report yang menerangkan tentang setiap-setiap uh, attributes yang ada di dalam next. Yang seterusnya akan juga um, apa ni, um, menilai your English proficiency. There will be a test. So, daripada test tu dia akan tentukan uh, You, you uh, lulus ke macam mana? So at least you can help yourself to understand better uh, where you are, uh, your current uh, level of English. So it consists of two parts, grammar skills and reading comprehension. It's very good for you to do this. Dan seterusnya, it will also help you to assess your IT skills. Yeah, very basic one. And the important one is CV Builder. CV Builder is a resume that you can use 
uh, for you to find maybe internship and all that. Uh, and then internship program where you can look for internship in this platform in next. Tapi sekarang the 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 two apa ni this section belum ada lagi. We are still working on it. But in future, yes, mungkin ada students yang akan graduating atau untuk pergi internship program. Always look for the information of next as well as SIP. So how can you do next? You can go to our website www.talentcorp.com.my find my next. So ini untuk anda maybe ambil gambar ataupun screenshot. Okay. Again, this will be my uh, last slide. If I can just uh, summarize. For you to have a career, ideal career, dia tak kisah nak jadi apa after this. After graduation, nak jadi apa is basically totally up to you, right? Unless you have certain things that you need to comply with. For example, maybe your, your parents want you to be this, to be that. But again, um, ask yourself what do you want to be and what can you do to help yourself to be there. So self-awareness, market awareness, personal branding, experience, these are the four elements that you need. So again, don't worry about jobs, tapi do something about it. Do something about it. Walaupun kita berada dalam situasi yang sangat-sangat mencengkam nowadays. We have COVID, we have pandemic and all that. And then the employment issues is very, very, very tight. But that doesn't mean that will stop us from, you know, doing our effort, right? Teruskan cari. Uh, bila, bila the situation berubah. Hello. Okay, so that will be the, that will be the, the, the conclusion of it. Uh, you need to have this again, step awareness, market awareness, personal branding and experience. So from here you can basically, I hope this can help you to start or craft your uh, career roadmap. Or maybe in future you can get your ideal career. Start looking and then start doing whatever that I have shared just now. Connecting to people, uh, make yourself uh, be visible in whatever uh, maybe in LinkedIn or maybe improve your experience and all the skills that you need in order for you to get the job that you want. Sekian dan terima kasih. Thank you so much Mr. Ardi. It's such uh, an interesting talk because it basically uh, make students realize how to identify their, their self and how to manage to improve their skills in order to meet the requirement in the, in the industry. So we have one question from Muhammad as three, uh, does fresh graduate also can enroll in a structured internship program? Uh, thank you, As three. I remember you also asked question in the previous session. Very good of you. Uh, if okay, fresh graduates. Unfortunately, for SIP, it's only open for uh, students. But you can enroll for my ASEAN internship. For fresh graduates, uh, there's another program. We call it my ASEAN internship because it's also open for, for graduating students as well as those students who just graduated. But SIP is specifically for only for students at the moment. I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Mr. Ardi. Welcome. And do we have any question? Also, the, okay, only one question for now. So I would like to thank uh, Mr. Ardi for such an interesting presentation. It was a pleasure and it's an honor to have you with us. To all the participants, uh, stay tuned for the next session entitled Upgrade Your Qualification, Professional and Executive Course. So I would like to pass the floor to Tuan Haji Nasrul. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Adi. Five, four, three, two, one.